I say so. Uh, this ricer got a chip on his windshield. So what happened was, I was uh, racing a uh, 5.0 Mustang, and basically after you know I I, I uh, chopped him, you know, I was cruising at about 175, uh, and I was doing you know like like a like a rally style like a like a donut like a victory donut. Yeah. And uh, what happened was uh, a little rock flew up and hit my windshield, but it was after I won. Yeah, after yeah, of I, course. After I spanked the Mustang, you know. So we just bought this little kit from uh, AutoZone. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. First step is, I guess, to uh, you're supposed to prod out uh, any like dirt and stuff. A little push pin right here. Second step, you're gonna uh, clean it off with a little alcohol, alcohol prep pad. I'm gonna let that dry. How to fix your windshield the hoopty way. How to fix your hoopty ass windshield. How to fix See, your, like, your most windshield. Most people would. You get them clapping Mustangs. Yeah, exactly. Clapping Mustangs cheeks. Yeah, dude, I believe me, like I've seen him do it before. Yeah. I guess there's, a, there's an LS in here. Yeah, we'll do yeah. we'll do a video on that entirely later it's though. LS6 twin turbo. Oh, hey, don't don't spoil it, don't spoil anything. People are gonna start to believe me. I know. <laughs> Bitch ass crack. <laughs> Looks like a dead bug or something. It ain't, it ain't a dead bug. She's so like, hey dude, uh, yeah, someone just, this is just a dead bug on my windshield, don't even worry about it. Why doesn't this work either? Well, what, what, what? Why is that? It doesn't like lock in. Too many G's beating a Mustang. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and he crashed into you? Well, the G force was so high that I actually passed it at the wheel. Yeah. And you grabbed onto the car that. had to drive itself. <laughs> oh yeah. Which it does. Oh. Uh, so, where was this from? The little white stripe right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, after I got to that spanking, uh, the uh, Matt's Mazda over there. Yeah. What happened was I was doing another victory donut, and the, my back end lost so much traction, <laughs> even though it's front wheel drive. I my hit back a Mustang. End was this? Uh, Spun out and it hit a Mustang. Well, the Mustang hit me. Yeah, the Mustang crashed into Mustangs him. Mustangs crash all the time, you know? Yeah. Alright, give us a third step. So the third step, you're just gonna... Pace. Wait, what was the first step? The first step, you're gonna prod it with a little push pin. Okay, so you prod it with the push pin. What is the brand, this kit? Here, I'll show you the box. I have no idea. So, when you get a crack in your... in your windshield, you're gonna go buy this Permatex windshield repair, okay? The cheaper then, the better. Cheaper the better, honestly. Unless you have a nice car. Which, I mean, this car is pretty nice. I mean, but like, we don't have any money because we spent it all on the car. I spent it all on doing the LS6 swap on this. Yeah, thing. yeah. But, uh, so what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna prod it with this little ghetto ass <laughs> thumbtack. <laughs> thumbtack. I called it a, uh, it's a thumbtack. Uh, specialty pen or something. Yeah, yeah. Some, some bullshit. In the like manual. Alright, and then basically what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean it off with the alcohol prep pad. Clean it off. Then you're gonna put on the little sticky thing. Put on the sticky thing right here. Then you're gonna put on, they call this thing the pedestal. All right. Putting it on the pedestal, as they say. Putting the, uh, you know. On the pedestal. On the pedestal. So it goes right. right here. So that's what you're gonna do. That's on there. And then you're gonna use the prison blade right here, the prison blade. Shank. And make sure you do this on fresh paint. You're just gonna cut this shit off, just like that. And it said to empty about three fourths of it in there. So you put just put the tip in, dude. Why are you making this difficult? Cause I want to see how much is coming out. Well. Let's see, it might already be full, to be honest with you. What's going on right now? Can you explain the process? I'm just dripping it until it overfills. Matt, can you grab me a towel really quick? Yeah, dude. Sure. <laughs> Alright, ready? Hold on. No, what do you, so don't, just say you put the syringe in. Alright, that's 
10 minutes having the thing on there. After 10 minutes, you're just going to uh, suction it completely off, wipe off any of the extra residue. And what you're going to do is, after you pushed out all the air, which we just did, you're going to want to push it back in so it fills the crack. So now you're just going to put it kind of syringe it right there like that. Yeah. Did you push it? Did you push it down? Yeah. And then what? God damn it, Jose. You can just exit that out. I'm, I'm leaving there. Hey, so this is all air? Yeah. Oh. It's like, uh, pressure. All right, after this has been sitting for 10 minutes, pushing air into it, I'm just gonna take it off, make a little suction cup noise. I'm just gonna wanna take this shit off. So we did this right. You sure it's been set long? Yeah. This supposed, supposed, supposed to be extra on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, tight. Damn. Damn, you can't even see that anymore. All right, so now the last step right here, all you're going to do is you're just going to add one more small bead of this sealant right here, and then you're going to put this little slip on there. Make sure there's no air bubbles on the actual... Uh, Slip. Push out all the liquid on the sides. Get it as thin as you can. And sure then this comes in right. all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is just wipe this. You're gonna let it sit for ten more minutes. Another ten minutes. That looks clean, dude. Definitely buy Permatex. All right. 10 minutes later, you're just gonna go ahead, peel that off. Huh? Now you're supposed to peel it so take it's flush. It. So you just gotta take that off right there. Use a razor or something. You peel it off? You just go over the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. I ate it up? You guys hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Alright, let's go back. Is that you? Oh, okay. You're also bummed. Yeah. You're not supposed to cook sticks, though. You're not like me when I fucking push it. It's fine. Cool. All happened was it fucking popped out. What happened was, so this is the bumper, right? I hit that shit and the bumper went. And it like dipped in. And that's why I popped it out. There's no way, it ripped the plastic going. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, off? Either, uh, Bro. That, you can't even see the hook crack anymore. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna save up and get mm. a nice, um, like, nice. Yeah. It's tiny as fuck, dude. That's the cheapest $15 windshield fix, dude. Permatex, whatever the hell it was. Alright, see you guys later. How to fix your hoopty ass windshield.